This is my ultimate solo crabbing setup, plus one other tip I'll show in another video. I get these spools free from Lowe's that keep rope on them. I use a barrel bolt latch to lock the spool into the PVC pipe. You can get them at Home Depot. You will see in a minute why this is the ultimate solo setup. I'll show a diagram at the end for those not familiar with laying trout line. For those that are, here's my anchor points. I tie a loop at the beginning of the line to attach my anchor to, and then one more in the middle to attach my float to with a carabiner. The loops and carabiners make for less mess and easy storage. Plus the baited lines fit nicely in a cooler with an ice pack, keeping the bait fresh throughout the day. I use the same bucket spool technique for baiting my line, where I have baits every five feet. I'll show that in another video. This line only came with 10 foot spacing on snoods, so I add extra bait in the middle with an old fashioned knot. Here is the second float loop, and here is the end loop for the last anchor. Why is this the ultimate solo rig? You can lay line hands-free, tangle-free. And you can pick up your line in minutes. Sure, some people use a garden hose reel, but this setup can be baited anytime and stored in the refrigerator or even the freezer. Please like and subscribe for future crabbing tips and questions, like which is better, trot line or traps. The other solo crabbing tip is hanging on my neck. I will show that in another video. Just trying to pass time until next crabbing season.